Welcome to everyone. After uh, completion of the chapter is Ideas and Ketones, uh, let us move on to the uh, last bit of the whole chapter is uh, carboxylic acid. It's a very important friends, with having a weightage of around 2 marks in our uh, NCRT, but uh, very important for your competitive examination. So what are carboxylic acid? First, before we start the concept, we know the functional group of uh, carboxylic acid. We learned it in the first year. Carboxylic acid is and a function of group is COOH and this COOH is involved in two parts one is this is carbonyl carbon and this is your corresponding hydroxyl group carbonyl carbon and hydroxyl the combination of two functional groups available the carbonyl carbon and hydroxyl group based on this concept we can mention this is a carbonyl and this is your hydroxy. This is the based on this we can use the component and carboxylic component. And this is your the major part carboxylic acid COOH having carbonyl carbon and hydroxyl group combined together. The mentioned is a carboxylic is acid. And this carboxylic acid, I think all of you quite familiar friends already. Yes. The carboxylic acids are the derivatives of either a plants or either animals. Carboxylic acid is a source of either plants, friends, or either animals. So you can have an example, friends. I think all of you know this is a vanilla. And it's a wonderful example is an ants, especially the easy were red ants. So how, how can you get this uh, carboxylic acid from the red ant? Yes, friends, the red ant having an acid, yes, this is HCOH. In the Latin word, we pronounce these as a formica. Formica. The formica, English, in English, it means it is the compound, is a red ant. So, and by the grinding of a red ant, you can get it the formic acid. So, call is an uh, carboxylic acids derived from uh, animals. And similarly, vinegar, the vinegar is uh, coming from uh, a plant, friends, it's an uh, stem. As based on that stem, we can act, extract this uh, acetic acid. This is a compound, is a CH3COH. Acetic acid is from the vinegar. Similarly, butyric acid from the butter. As a caproic acid from the goats, goat is also an animal. So that's why, in broad inference, we can across carboxylic acids are derived from either the animals or either a plant. This is a simple story behind the carboxylic acids of our compound. So, dear friends, in the carboxylic acid, already we know it is a derived from plants and animals, and what about its nomenclature? It's very important. Nomenclature. In organic chemistry, already we cross uh, two types of nomenclature. One is a common name, and another one IUPs. So, friends, uh, based on the common name, this is completely based on their source. Based on their corresponding source, we can express the common name. What are those sources? The source coming from either it is an plant or either it is in the form of animal. So already we know this animal is a red ant is a formica that's why we call it a formic acid and a stem or the vinegar we call it a acetic acid. Caproic acid it is coming from the goats that is on a caproic acid. So similarly based on the source we can mention their common names. Common name of carboxylic acid is the same as the same as the same as the acid is coming from the the same as 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 the 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 the Carboxylic acids, especially aliphatic acids, we mention alkanoic acid. How can the alkanoic acids are formed, friends? Very simple, they coming from alkene. 
the last letter E, e is replaced by OICS. This is your suffix OICS is an alkane noic acid sulfur. Repeat once again. Friends, carboxylic acids are named in two types. Common name based on their source. And the IOPAC nomenclature, they mentioned as an alkanoic acids, they from an alkanes, alkane, the last letter E is replaced by OICS. Now they termed as alkanoic acids. This is a brief story behind your carboxylic acid and its nomenclature. After this, I have to use some examples. They mentioned in our syllabus, friends, is the very simplest one. Based on the source, you can mention the one by one we have to know. This is the first one formula and a common name and the corresponding I. This only is the formula. First, we start, let us begin with the HCOH. This is your first carboxylic acid. And this is carboxylic acid coming from the derivative of red ants, so it is known as. Formic acid. The HCOH is called formic acid. They contain one carbon, one means methane. Methane, we already know, the E is replaced by OIC acid. Now they term as methanoic acid. And second one, CH3, COOH, they coming from acetic acid or vinegar, we call it an acetic acid is axiom or either vinegar acetic acid to carbon is known as ethanoic acid. Similarly friends with increase in carbon CH3, CH2, COOH. Yes this is a propionic acid. Yes propionic acid and similarly increasing the carbon number as as mentioned CH3CH2 yes you can use CH2 COOH yes we have an uh, 4 carbon this is a butyric acid because it is a derivative of butter butyric B-U-T-Y R-I-C butyric acid but the containing 4 carbon we call it a butane E a euro OIC. This is called a butanoic acid. And similarly, yes, the carboxylic acids are named reference. So very simple. Yes, at least you have to mention these three. One carbon, this is HCOH is formic acid, CH3COH is acetic acid, CH3CH2CH2COH is called butyric acid. You can increase the carbon number six. You can mention like this CH3 and this is a CH2. Four times this is a COH. This is caproic acid. This is caproic acid. And but it containing six carbon is known as hexanoic acid. This is a simple story behind the carboxylic acid. I repeat, the French once again, carboxylic acids are derived from plants and animals. And in common system, based on their source, we can mention formic acid, acetic acid, butyric acid, or caproic acid. But in IUPAC, they have an a term alkanoic acid, means alkane in a last letter E and a tagadu, a jagadal suffix OIC acid in a hat garamakre, methanoic acid, ethanoic acid, butanoic acid, hexanoic acid, and one increasing carbon number you can mention the nomenclature. This is a simple nomenclature part of carboxylic acid. We continue with the methods for preparation in the next video. Thank you, thank you so much for the watching.